<laughs> we know that we know that Klaus Schwab is kind. If there are conspiracies, the, the James Bond villain, kind of not quite out of central casting. See the photo we have of him in the bathroom. Yeah, with the Darth Vader with outfit the, with on. The spacesuit. I'm the one who told you about his spacesuit. We put it up yes, on the screen. Yes, yes. Kla- do you know who Klaus Schwab's mentor was? I do, but I forgot. Henry Kissinger. That's right. Who was in the same meeting? This was a Harvard. Well, plot. his whole fa- his father was a that, Nazi. That's. I can't vet that for positive sure, but that's what I have heard. What what is the so what is the truth of that? Let's find out who is Klaus Schwab's father. At least his father did something like Wasn't he the guy that was like bringing the like Nazis, the nuclear technology for the Nazis some, to South Africa or something, something like that? Something crazy like that. I mean, I know the story vaguely. I knew it at one point. But... Not, look, you can't help who your father is. Right? That's correct. And, if, you know, unfortunately, but you get born, your dad's a Nazi. I'm much like, less worried about Klaus being a Nazi than I am. Like, he has an interview he gave where he's in his, his office, and behind him, up on the bookshelf, is a bust of Lenin. How the hell did that get there? Like, right. other than Jordan Peterson, who puts one of those up? Yeah. Communists. And then Jordan's right. studying them, and that's why he right. puts them up as a reminder. No, no shade at Jordan, uh, obviously, but, like... Klaus has got some, you know, big ambitions, I think. And his mentor was Kissinger. Well, he's such a strange guy, the way he talks about it, too. It's so right out of a movie. Like, this cannot be real. No one is really, you will own nothing and you will be happy yeah. with that accent. And no one's freaking out. I think that my favorite ones where he's having the conversation, he's like, yes, in some years, we will all have the chips in our brains. Yeah. And so you will be sitting there and I will be sitting here and we will be having a conversation. There was a false attribution oh, so it's fake yeah. inaccurate wef uh, I re- this is from a book i read yeah this is reuters founder so klaus schwab family tree shared online so what is the that inaccuracies were, that he was uh related to the rothschild family oh that was the fake one. Oh yeah that because his mother is my super secret okay th- so that's, that's fake. not true that's not true but the thing about his father that's uh, why i was i mean this is explaining what his father was too his okay. mother was jewish and his father did what? Well, if his father was Don't open that can. Oh well, God. I mean, that's the whole thing with Soros, though. You know, Soros was Jewish, and his uncle took him around as a young boy when they confiscated uh, property from the Jews, and he had to pretend that he was a Christian. Yeah. Did you ever see the interview but, but, with... Uh, what is, so who is his dad? I mean, I'm trying to get to something that says it, but Okay, not... we, we should really clarify that, not yeah, well, miss it. Okay, Eugen so who is this gentleman? Wilhelm. What did he do? Here's Wilhelm, what did you fact. do? Okay. <laughs> did Soros's or Klaus Schwab's father work for Hitler? False. Uh, claim. George Soros worked for Hitler. Klaus, okay. But what is, what did his dad do? I, mean, I got to Because this book yeah. was, this book that I read was uh, uh, about elite power structures. And one, of, and they go into the World Economic Forum. I wish I could remember exactly what they were saying. But it was something to the tune of who his dad worked with. Well, I'll just be clear, since you have the tinfoil hat right now, Joe, um, that, <laughs> that I, my source for his mentor being Kissinger is a book called that was published by the World Economic Forum called The World Economic Forum, The First 40 Years, which was published in 2011 right. to brag about how cool they've been. He also brags that in um, 78, he started making connections to Deng Xiaoping and trying to bring the stakeholder, as he called it, capitalism model into China, which is what China actually uh, installed. It's this dirty fusion of neoliberalism, which is basically how do you get huge corporations to basically suck off of the government? And that's the thing the left has been mad about for 50 years. How do you fuse that to communism? And China's the answer. And what I think is all this ESG stuff was constructed around it to make the, the, the West have it too. 